So, as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be riding the Santin Dam off Peace Trails. Now, the trails we're going to be riding are the trails that they use in the Winter Series for Thetford, because I want to ride them, I've been looking to ride them for quite a while, but never really found a time, but today hopefully we will have enough time. Don't know whether we'll get wet or not, because it depends how muddy it is. But yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it, because I don't know what to expect, it could be good, they could be bad. We could get lost, we could know where we're going, anything like that. So, I haven't got much intro to say today, apart from make sure to stay tuned and subscribe because uh, we're going to be going to Twist Oaks Bike Park again soon and my bike will be fixed this time so there'll be no noises. Um, I'll make sure I take a couple more batteries so it doesn't die as well like last time. Hopefully nothing will go wrong and I'll make a better video. Um, I can't remember where else we should be going as well. But anyway, make sure to stay tuned for that and I'll see you on the trail this week yeah oh. so as you can see we have now left we are now about to go to the sand and Downham trails i've got my gps attached to right here no got my gps attached to my handlebars as you can see sorry if that rattles a bit because i couldn't think of any other way to attach it so, it might take a while to get there, so I think I'll see you there. Are you sure you're allowed to even go through here? Let's go. Good fun. I think in the race this would be a downhill, but we're riding it as an uphill. So, all this stuff's quite cool actually. God. Just hope no one comes back down. Yeah, please excuse the GPS and the cable ties. That's the only way that I could get it to stay on properly without shaking. So, God, I think I'm gonna have to take off my jumper. I'm so hot. God, this one looks like it's just been freshly dug. Ah, I know why. I know why this one looks like it's been freshly dug. I bet they've just built it for the winter series because they have to start preparing the course soon. Either that or it's just overgrown. Oh, it's very muddy, slippery, um, overgrown slightly, but that's not too bad, but hopefully we've now got, going to join back up to the part of the trail that's on my GPS, fingers crossed, if it's here, yeah this has been dug. Right, now 
let's go left here. Technically out in the middle of nowhere now. It's raining, all the trails over here are overgrown. So we're now going to head back to the other part where the winter series takes place and do the trails there. Because they are functioning, I know they are, because someone rode them yesterday. So, I'll see you there. This here reminds me of Canuck Chase with the heath and everything. Apart from the fact it's flat. God, God knows how far we've got left to go until we get back to the main parts of the trail. So, we are now back on um, this way, we're now back on track, and off we go. Oh. Tell you what though, it is certainly hard going. That's because it is wet, soil's thick, because not many people ride these. And oh, it's quite warm actually, considering if you stand still, it's cold. Because it does loop back and then it goes back over there. Right. Please excuse if there's water on the lens, I can't have time to wipe it. Right, so this is now another bit. If you ever come and try and do the trails over here, I'll just advise to do the ones, just the ones this side. I wouldn't go past that big fire road because I think no one uses them so they've all got overgrown. Like this bit looks like this. Oh, slippy, slidey. Right, so yeah, sorry if there's grit on the lens, that's because I had to wipe it with my glove and I wipe it with this glove. This glove's just got no grit on. So. Yeah, but we're not back there yet. Ooh. Then we go left here. And 
now we are back on the trail we should be on. So, <clears throat> oh, wrong hand again. So, we're kind of near the end of the trail now. Hopefully next time we come, I'm just gonna make a better route, but one that's just of the trails here, not over the other end, so we don't get mixed up like we did today. And then that should be better, but don't know when we'll next come over here. But sorry if this video has been a bit boring, by the way, because of course this is just Stepford again, but there's different trails. Although, to be fair, I didn't go too quick because I don't know these trails, we don't know where we're going. I'm constantly having to look down at my GPS to see where we are. So, but now, now I know where some of it is, I can start to build up a memory of it, like I do Brandon and there, and then once I know all of it, we'll be able to come over here, do the six mile winter race lap fully, and then make like a proper, proper video on it. So, and now we just gotta get all the way back to High Lodge. So, That'll be fun, having to get back there, it's uphill all the way back now. So yeah, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe because we ended up getting lost um, and a few of them were overgrown. But anyway, so I'll see you next week on the trail.